Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is December 26th. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. It is so hot, I'm going downstairs. Come on, Kobe, let's go downstairs. Come on, pup, come on. What are you doing? Okay. Also, okay, look at this that they have for the dogs. That is insane. They're ridiculous. So I'm still in Texas. I am here until the third. Today, this morning, I filmed a morning routine, which you guys have already seen, and then I'm filming a bunch of other videos today. But I'm about to go to breakfast with my parents. Look at the dogs. This is Kobe. This is my sister's dog. He's really crazy. And then Coco, the angel. Kobe is insane. He just jumps everywhere. He's really, he's not aggressive. He just doesn't realize that he's strong. But he's really cuddly, so he's cute. This is my look for today. You guys already saw it in the morning routine, but it's really simple. I did my makeup in three minutes because my parents were rushing me. And then I went upstairs and they were not ready. So that's awesome. Love that. But like I was saying, today I'm filming. I need to still enroll in my spring classes. It's pathetic. I'm probably going to hang out with friends at some point. And I think I'm going to try Orange Theory today. I've been wanting to try Orange Theory, but I didn't have any fitness clothes or anything like shoes that I brought to Texas because I left like earlier than I thought. I've packed in like two minutes, so I forgot a lot of things. Actually, I didn't. I only forgot that conveniently, but <laughs> I think I'm going to try it out tonight. Danielle and Brooke are obsessed with it, so I've been texting them, and I'm like, okay, what is it like? Tell me. Okay, stop crying. I'll take you guys out. My gosh. Also, I'm wearing my new... Adidas. Why do I keep forgetting the name? Anytime I try to tell you guys a name, like Feather, I don't know. I'm so bad at remembering names for things, but I got these the other day and they're awesome. They're just like really cute, you know? Big fan of these. Here's another look at these in case you guys are wondering. I don't know where she got it. I'll ask her if you guys want to know, but this is. She originally got this for Kobe, my sister. Kobe's big. Like, he's not going to fit in that at all. Coco could probably fit in that. But it's just very funny. I'm going to Charlotte's fight. That's great, mom. It literally made it to like Adriatica. Made it to breakfast. Look at my mom's extensions. Mom, model your extensions. Whoa. They look great. But wait, wait, wait. Her new shoes. Isn't she cool? She feels very cool today. Okay, we literally are like two streets from my house right now. But I'm in so much pain. I closed the door on my leg. It's windy. Um, I texted Sab literally a minute ago to come meet us at Starwood and she said KK coming so she's on her way. Uh, I texted Sab to come so now she's on her way. I got some coffee. I love these coffee mugs. That's why I like Starwood. I don't know why. I got some apple juice. Look at us drinking our coffee black. Sab is here. Remember when you used to make fun of me for creamer? Yeah. But look at me now. So proud of you. Got some avocado toast, fruit, and eggs. Avocado toast. What's that? Egg whites? Oh yeah, egg whites. I'm healthy. Sorry. Everyone's just jealous. Everyone else is unhealthy. I'm healthy. Guys, Miley Cyrus got married. That's so freaking cute. Guys, okay, so Miley Cyrus Oh, Miley Cyrus captioned her Instagram photo. Sab's really excited about this wedding. Let me move this. She's very excited about this wedding. She's been talking about it today. So she captioned the photo 10 years later because the last song came out 10 years ago. And then we realized we saw the last song together <laughs> with your boyfriend that I set you up with, right? Or did I not? No, I no, 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 that was your subject. You and Presley did it. Oh, I did? Okay, good. Yeah, because I remember you were at like, the Zaza Hotel. Yeah, Hotel Zaza in the sixth grade. No, for a second I thought that oh, I set him up with someone else and that you were mad at me, but I realized that someone else was mad at me because I set them up with him up with you. But I didn't know. Crazy oh, sixth grade stuff. Okay. I was a matchmaker. You were. I set up everyone. I think I just thought it was funny. Yeah. I've just left. I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh, I'm already upstairs. I'm gonna start importing some footage. Ooh. And start editing my morning routine. It's like really storming outside. So, wasn't able to vlog because the lighting is gonna be really bad. Guys, I just spent like three minutes looking around for my Beats headphones just to realize they're right here. So that's awesome, just great. Currently importing some footage because this video is going up tomorrow. I never do things that last minute, but I did it because I wanted to film it in this house. So I've got some editing to do. Okay, so I'm trying to book my Orange Theory class and I think they're all booked for today. So I need to book one for tomorrow. I'm getting a massage tomorrow. 
Maybe I'll book a 5.30 for tomorrow. I guess I have to go tomorrow. That actually kind of sucks because I really wanted to be healthy. But maybe I'll try. I downloaded the Orange Theory app and everyone like hates it. So I was like, oh, okay, this is for the Frisco location. I'm not trying to go to the Frisco location. Okay, so I guess they're all booked, but I booked a class for tomorrow at 5.30. Hey guys. I just finished editing this morning routine, which will go up in the morning. It's already up if you guys haven't seen it. Check it out. I really like how it turned out. I think it's super cute. So I'm just going to go export it, and then I'm going to go change and meet Kat at our favorite sushi place. It is pouring out, so like actually pouring. So I guess it's probably a good thing that the classes were booked. So I can just have a cozy night, but guys, it is like, I, I haven't seen it rain this much rain probably in like three years, which I love rain, so it's perfect. Just put a hoodie on. Actually, one of my hoodies, the Lovey Mean It. I love this thing. I'm just throwing sweats on in a big jacket and going to get sushi with all my best friends in the rain. And maybe we'll watch the last song after. This is an amazing night, guys. I love cozy nights. I actually was really upset because I was excited to work out today because I haven't in a billion years and I'm gonna get back and like my obsessed, like loving working out thing, but it's okay. Today is just a cozy day. Ooh, a cozy day at home. So let me see if I can even open this. I have so much stuff in here. And then I'm gonna get my IMG jacket. Guys, I literally bought four IMG jackets for people for Christmas. So my outfit for sushi just have black sweats on, hoodie, IMG jacket, and then my Adidas little sneakers. I'm just gonna grab my bag and head out. Kat and I, it, we're going to Kobe. If you guys watched me in high school, that's so crazy. That, that's so crazy because this is my junior year of college. Um, but Kat has been one of my best friends for like ever. That's not what I'm meaning to say right now though. We used to go to Kobe all the time. My dad, we would literally get Kobe every single day. It was like our favorite thing. So we're going right now. I cannot wait to get my crunchy roll. Wow. You guys, wait, wait. Yeah. Let's look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Where is... Oh, shoot. I don't know this song. I don't know why I'm like dancing to it. Does anyone ever do that to where like you've never heard the song ever before in your life, but you literally like know the lyrics? Like that's happened to me so many times, but it's just weird because I don't know the lyrics. So let's think about it. It's raining. It's pouring. I'm in my hometown and I'm driving at night. I need to put on some emo music, but I don't know what I'm gonna go with today. You need to think old school, what would have made me cry in high school kind of thing, you know? Everyone knows what I'm talking about. I'm gonna literally put on Taylor Swift. Like, I'm at that level. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited for her Netflix special. Okay, wasn't kidding about the Taylor Swift. Guys, my favorite sushi place in pouring rain. I love my life. When Maddie and I ordered like 70,000 yes. rolls. I was just thinking about that too because I wrote 11 on my thing. I don't know why. Yeah, it's that so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Um, okay, I'm just getting this for now. I'm probably gonna get more though. Kat and I are at Kobe getting our crunchy rolls. Literally, this is the same order that we've had for probably like five or six years now. Maybe longer than that. It's been a bit, but it's incredible. This is the best fried rice ever. Good morning, morning everyone. everyone. It is Thursday morning at the 27th. <sighs> I just woke up like literally two minutes ago. <laughs> Today, my mom, my grandma, and I are getting massages and then getting our nails done. I have not had my nails done since literally my grease trip because my nails were just so weak. I had had pretty much acrylics on for probably like four years-ish. Like I had taken breaks, but not long breaks. Like, I don't know, my nails were just trash. So anyways, now they're perfect. And I actually kind of like the natural no nail look too. I was like really into that. I go through periods of time where I'm like acrylics or die, gel or die, or no nails or die. Pretty extreme. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, and then I'm going to Orange Theory tonight. But if there's nothing shaking, come with me to my I'm gonna roll myself up in a big ball. Hey. I just finished my hour-long massage. 
I feel so relaxed. Oh my gosh. I'm booking my flight home for New Year's to LA because I just need to clean my house. That's literally why. We're at Market Street and apparently they changed us to a Starbucks. Wow. I had no idea this was not a Starbucks when I was growing up. This is amazing. Booking a flight back to LA for New Year's Eve. I haven't spent New Year's Eve in LA since the first year I moved there. Let's see here. <coughs> Just got a venti iced chai, no surprise here. Also booked my flight, so I'm going back for New Year's. Okay, so, got my iced chai. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm really happy. I love being in Texas. These, well, this month has been a really hard month. And just, I need to get back to LA and deep clean my house. Like, all I've been thinking about for the past week is how I need to deep clean my house. And now I can do that. And I have like four days to prep for the year before I have to go straight into orientation in normal life. So, it was good. My flight was like pretty cheap, so I'm really happy about that. So, just got my nails done. I got like a purple gray color and coffin shape. This is 185 next gen. I don't know if that helps you guys. Then, some red on my toes. Okay, so I've just been answering emails for a while. I changed in to my workout clothes because I'm going to go do Orange Theory in like an hour or two, I think. But right now, I booked a new flight today. I did a bunch of stuff. Mom, guess what I finally did? I asked for my American Airlines Advantage number so I could put all my flights on there. Oh, can I have it? Yeah, send it to me. I'm so lazy when it comes to that stuff. Like, I am so productive and I will get everything done. But when it comes to like really small, minuscule things, I'm like, oh, whatever. And I just let everything go off. But like, I fly all the time and I always fly American and I don't have my airline thing, which is so annoying. So I'm just answering emails and like editing and doing a bunch of like just stuff on my computer that I need to get done. I'm gonna register for spring classes. Then for some reason, cause I just hadn't paid my tuition. We paid it this week. But for some reason, it still says there's like a financial hold, which is so annoying. But that's also my own fault because, you know, I waited to the last second. So that's awesome. Okay, guys. So I mentioned on my secret like Facebook group page that I'm trying to go digital with my planner this year. I love my passion planner and I used it for three years, which is really good. But um, I think I just need to go digital so I can do everything on this little book when I get my little keyboard. What? When I get my keyboard and stuff. It's just hard because my managers all put stuff on here and it's just it, it just works better if I have a Google Calendar. So I'm going to try this. The only thing I really don't like is that I can't really make lists and stuff, but I'm going to get an app. I tried out Wonderlist, but like I'm not, or Wonderlist, I'm not obsessed with it. If you guys have any better list apps, let me know down below. But like this is just what I have so far. Obviously, I have like a lot more that I need to add in. So far, so good. I really want to use a Google Calendar app too because my managers use it, so it would just be easier if we can just link our stuff. And it already links to like flights and all of that, which is really nice. So, this is what I've been doing so far. I'm kind of actually loving this. Okay, so I just finished doing a bunch of computer work and now I'm going to head to Finally, my first Orange Theory class. Danielle and Brooke are gonna be so proud of me. Know what to do when we drop that music. Right. Little mini skirts and she looking good. Yeah. I'm in the parking lot. I'm a little bit early. I'm early to everything. I don't know why, but I had a really old Chris Brown song like stuck in my head, and I really don't listen to Chris Brown. But I like couldn't get it out of my head and it's fine. It's like really put me in a good mood. Anyways, I'm here. I don't have to be inside for like a few minutes. I'm early to everything. Are you guys early or late? I'm always early. I think we've had a lot of discussions about this, my friends and I, because I'm a very punctual person. And a lot of my friends are just not. And I think from my consensus of everything, most people who played competitive sports when they were younger are very on time and people who didn't aren't. Because in Texas, especially North Texas, like the region that I live in, the sports are like some of the most competitive in the nation. Like sports here are crazy. And yeah, if we were late, we would run like miles. So I'm like never late. I was born that way though. Like I've been like that forever, but I, that didn't help. You know what I mean? So anyways, this is before my first Orange Theory class. Ah, very, very scary. Ooh. Okay, I'm going in the class. I'm not gonna vlog in there because I don't know them, it's my first class, and I don't want to be the weird girl with the camera. So, I'll let you guys know how it went in like an hour. I'm like kind of nervous, 
but not really. You see, my friends are supposed to come with me, but they all bailed because they're not as fit as me. Yeah. Or they just like didn't want to work out. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Woo. Okay, guys, I'm back. They made me buy a shirt because Texas and so stupid, and you can't work out in a sports bra. Whatever. Um, I'm an Orange Theory girl now. See. I'm just like Danielle and Brooke. So it was so fun. I like loved it. I need to go to Best Buy and then the grocery store because I'm cooking for my family. But if you guys don't know what Orange Theory is, I'll give you like a little rundown. I'll give you a little, um, oh my gosh. So I'll give you a little bit of a review. Hold on. So there's every class is different. Um, I asked like so many questions to everyone before I went. Every class is different. You have rowing weights and the treadmill um there's three different kinds of days they're all different every workout is different you want to be in the orange zone i was in the orange zone like the whole time very proud of myself honestly like i kept up well i wasn't like as out of shape as i thought i was but it was super fun i think i'm going back tomorrow at like 7 30. it was just really fun so anyways i'm going to go to best buy to get an ipad charger and then to the grocery store. I'm walking in to Best Buy. Guys, this is such a random like thought that I just had, but I really like when people are vlogging and you can hear like their nails and like them moving the camera. Like I feel like to some that'd be annoying, but for some reason it's really calming to me. This is so weird. This is like an ASMR thing, but this is my only thing. So I'm walking into Best Buy. Okay, just kidding. Apparently no place is really gonna order them until mid-January, which is probably why, I, oh, hey Sav, sorry, I was vlogging. <laughs> hey girlies, look who it is. <laughs> Doing some grocery shopping for, guys, my signature recipe that you guys always ask me for, this is the only thing I can make, so, perfect. Look who it is, Sav. <laughs> um, Sweet Baby Ray, this is the best sauce ever. Do they not have the Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce? Oh no, or maybe? It's honey sauce. No, it has, or it's buffalo has to be buffalo sauce. Dang it, that sucks. Well, I can just get other buffalo sauce, but dang it. Oh, look, buffalo wing sauce. I don't think I need buffalo. I mean, I'm not making wings, but I'm so stupid. It was here the entire time. Okay, so it is buffalo wing sauce, I guess. This one's thicker though. This is what I use. Okay, so all you need is chicken, buffalo sauce, ranch, and sweet potatoes, very easy. Microwaving the sweet potatoes right now. I already did two and I just boiled chicken and it looks horrible, but you just drench it in the I keep wanting to say barbecue sauce the sweet baby rays barbecue sauce and then Buffalo sauce. I did it again the buffalo sauce. And then you'll see but And we'll see about that. Let me know if you actually depart. We get to Florida and they're gonna be like, no, have to turn around back to that. Guys, watch this like trip. Just like, never mind, actually. So the sweet potatoes are done. We have five because I'm feeding five. I can't believe I'm so domestic now. Um, I always just tear up the chicken and then I just drench it in the buffalo sauce, like I said. And then you guys will see the finished product. It's super easy. I don't want to do an entire video on this. Everyone always asks me, but it's just like my favorite meal ever. I haven't had it in so long. So. You cut the potato, right? And then you just put some chicken in. I want to, oh my gosh, okay. I used to put more um, buffalo sauce on top of it too, but I don't, I mean, I put a lot of buffalo sauce on this, so I don't really think you're gonna need to. And then, um, I mean, you'll fill it out, but a good amount. I just kind of like top it, because it gets pretty spicy. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, you'll probably want more. And then guys, I don't even like ranch, but I like ranch on this. You like have to eat ranch on that basically. You don't like ranch? Not really, like I don't really eat- Ranch and pizza? I do like that, but I don't really eat, like, I just don't eat dairy that much. Like even the thought of that kind of makes me like sick. Like I don't know why. Isn't that weird? I have to be in the mood for it. Like if I'm in the mood for it, I am. It's one of those foods, you know what I mean? Like I have to want heavy food to want it, you know? Yeah. Okay, so. Here we go. Uh, look at me, the chef. A real life chef. A real life chef, Sab. Oh, yep, perfect. All right, I just showered and I have laundry going, but that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed 
just a little cozy two days at home. If you guys did, let me know that you made a thumbs up. Subscribe. Um, check out my new podcast episode that came out, I think, last week. Now that you guys are watching this, I put my first solo episode ever up. So that's really cool. But love you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.